You know Irinya won't even talk to them. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission then. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sends us into impossible odds. That's about twice a day. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line, I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We should find Samara before the detective does.
Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. 
I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. 
You're in an enemy uniform, and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. This looks interesting. They've seen us. for heavy weapons.
Giles! It's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Bolas. Up close, exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends... This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We've got to keep moving. God. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. You need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Good luck with everything. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. 
I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Fifteen creds says the little guy doesn't get five steps in before the merc explodes him. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the But great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, well, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. He doesn't deserve to live. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! ship must be around here. This is probably the ship that Crazy Asari is looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? 
I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting, but I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship.
We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. seen a ship like this before. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Perhaps the missing colonists are aboard. If they're still alive. These are the same containers the Collectors used on Horizon. Only these are empty. Imagine their horror. Trapped in these pods, helpless, at the mercy of the Collectors. Collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around. Perhaps they were used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death, like being a test subject for twisted aliens. It is important to seek whatever solace we can find in the face of tragedy. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Because it didn't. a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Is there something we can use in the data to give us an edge? These are only preliminary experiments, but they reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Look, on the ceiling, more of those strange pods. 
There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Take it. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Stop them. There, on the platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. Where are the bodies of the Collector crew? Careful, Shepard. Something doesn't feel right about this. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the Collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back out now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical system. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap.
I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. Cerberus does have a long history of betrayal. No, the commander's right. There must be some other explanation. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
We've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands to firewall 7164. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. Down there. Isn't that where we came in? We must be getting close to the end. Now what's this? Commander, we have to go! Forever, Edie, get us the hell out of here. Specify a destination, Mr. Moreau. Anywhere that's not here. Very well. Engage in Mass Effect Core. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the Collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the Collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, 
and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. <laughs> 